Is it is it my live live stream? Try again. Am I live? I'm thinking I'm live. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique, where I take a look at a different tabletop games project every weekday at 1:40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. So if you enjoy that weird, wild content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers this year to celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. But right now, I'm very excited to be checking out Not Enough Mana, which is currently the 12th most popular project on all of tabletop games right now. Super hot presents a potion drinking card game of wizardly struggles and i believe the reason potion is small is because it's actually supposed to be a drinking game which that's awesome it's already raised fifty-seven thousand euros and i think this launched uh in the last week so it's interesting to see it ranked as 12th because i feel like there would be more buzz or there should be more buzz around this project if you have the creator of super hot here which once again i like the fact that they're spotlighting that right there because there's always there's three things you got to convince people do i want it can you do it how much is it and if i know that the person the people behind super hot a, an immensely popular game uh are in this i immediately i'm not too worried about can you do it so i love the fact that they spotlighted that spotlight that right there uh educated choices and regrets when choosing choices backfire okay what are backfires spelled with a y for a specific reason uh, wait, was that, is that, is that a reference to the Firefest? maybe? I don't know. <laughs> so this already raised $67,000, 19 days left to go from Warsaw, Poland. Let's go. Five minutes, Jesus, that's long. Ooh. A potion drinking card game of Wizardry Struggle. Oh, that is the, okay, that is the subtitle. <laughs> Spotlight, super hot, awesome. specify how good it is i'm glad they mentioned that because i have played uh, i believe a drinking game or two before where they were like oh yeah you need to have a separate drink as opposed to the drink you have there because that will mess with the game and that's just inconvenient your goal is to eliminate all other wizards either by depleting their health points or by ko also known as too much mana the eldest wizard starts the game you start your turn by drawing... Wait, I, I'm just making sure. I'm pretty sure they're talking in thematic sense. Or do they actually mean that one way to lose this game is to get someone so shit-faced that they can no, not any longer play the game? That's... Okay, that's... I, I would like to know that. Either way, that's interesting. Cards up to your hand limit. Then you can play... Discard and exchange any number of cards from your hand. I think we're getting too deep in the weeds. To the I'll rules. cast the fire spell, the fireball, on Igor here. Globus Ignea! It costs one mana point and requires you to discard an additional fire spell from your hand. I will also equip the spell book, which will extend my hand limit to six cards. A one mana point to it. Okay, so this is definitely, I think, going too deep into the weeds, and we still have three minutes left to go on this. And this is a great video to have on your Kickstarter page somewhere, but I do not believe this is the video that you should lead off with because it is really hard to retain someone's attention for five minutes on your Kickstarter video unless it is absolutely spectacular. And while I do believe that you could argue this is really well made and, and, and shot and edited and whatnot, I just don't think it's what most people want when they click on a Kickstarter page. It's like, I want to know what this game is. I want to get a feel for it. I want to get, I want to get a taste. I want you to tease me with it. Um... And this is just, this is, we still have three minutes. Exchange one card and keep this magic shield in case I get under fire. Okay. 
Then I announce my turn's end. It is cool they're showing mechanisms, but it's just... This is really... This is taking a while. Okay. <laughs> Wizards take turns battling each other, gearing up, and balancing their mana flow. Over the course of the game, tides will turn. The game, it's make, the game is making it look like I can do extracurricular drinking, potentially, to gain points or mana in the game. If that is the case, that's a really interesting idea. And I know some people are going to say, this is just, you know, if that were the case, it would be terrible because it's going to promote all, you know, binge drinking, stuff like that. I completely see their point. But as someone who used to binge drink, I know, shocker, I know I look straight edge, but who used to be very big into binge drinking, like... Not in a fun way, like in a serious way. Um, that's a really cool concept for a game. And I think at a certain age, I absolutely would have been all about that particular game, which I think is what they're doing here. I'm not Bises sure, though. shall form and crumble. Event cards will steer the battle into unpredictable paths. You will learn time and time again. Five bucks says I can buy those shot glasses right there, or those shot glasses come in the game, because they have really focused on those. Uh, really hard. That immense power comes with grand consequences. But, since the olden times, we, the wizards of the Institute, have been taking this burden upon us, for the next struggle is never far away. And when it comes, the only thing that matters is... Okay... Victory. It was funny. I mean, I enjoyed the video, but I just don't think it's a Kickstarter video. Or that it, it should be. Like, you show me this, and it's like, that means nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, are we going to see some super powerful card in the game? We're going to get that deep into the weeds. You're going to show us a huge, powerful card. What's going to happen? Break a wand, youngster. Okay. Well, I, I... <laughs> I have asked this in the comment section before. I believe I made a poll about it. Actually, I might need to do that. Um, but do you like these more thematic kickstarter videos do you personally like that uh i'd be really interested to know what other people think or do you want them to just get more into the weeds of the game and this is the credits this is the credits that's the credits and honestly you even showing me that it's five minutes made me be like oh okay i don't know so that's a really long video i feel like it's a very well made video a very well done video Honestly, I kind of still would just love to see, like, a short little gameplay. Like, you gave me an idea of how things worked, but you intertwining them, like, actually, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I should know how to play the game a little bit better. Thank you, Wizards. We are funding all physical tier rewards. will now come with a Kickstarter-exclusive letter from the Institute. I don't know what that means. Cool. So, as always, first created zero back. That looks bad. It looks like you're a cash grab. You know, if you don't want to make it look like a cash grab, there's a really easy way to do it. And I'm not saying this in a negative way. It was just, you go back 40 things for a dollar right now. It's a zero created, 40 back, and you say, oh, wow, Paul and Super Hot, they've been supporting the Kickstarter community, and now they're going to get theirs. It just, I always feel like it looks better than first created, zero back. Now, normally, this would be something that I'd be a little bit skeptical of, but right there, he's the game designer of Super Hot, which is an immensely popular game. It even has its own card game spinoff, which, it's not amazing. Um, but still, so the can you do it is an obvious yes. The do I want it? Here's the thing. This is really interesting to me because I am the target market. I don't drink much anymore, but I used to love drinking and I used to love playing board games and I used to love playing drinking board games. So I know exactly what I would want if I were in that time period. And this game to me at first glance sounds amazing, but from that video, I don't, I still don't quite, quite understand what's going on. I said quite twice. I don't know. Um, so that video, I just feel like it was not. It, that it just it didn't do it for me um so new add-ons available so what am i looking for i want the price that's that's the thing that i want what's the price new add-ons available get your metal potion institute wizards bad as an add-on with any physical tier cool oh it's this thing it's a physical thing 
Uh, that's a badge. Is that a pin? So it like sticks on me? I need to see the back. That'd be nice. Uh, but okay. Cool. I wonder how popular that is. I, I don't. I don't know. What sorcery is this? Not enough mana is a potion drinking card game for three to six fearless wizards. Legal potion age. Uh, take you. Wow. One to two hours. Holy guacamole. So this is. <laughs> This is a lengthier game. Okay, so we're looking more like a, like a drunk quest style game, uh, lengthwise. Because I think that one's that one's only about an hour, though. I think you'll be destroying each other using epic spells, curses, and artifacts while replenishing your mana by drinking magical potions. Potions not included. This is the institute suggests potions of forty percent mana essence potency. <laughs> okay, and I will say they have conveyed a good sense of humor, which gets me excited about the game. Your goal is to eliminate all the wizards from the game, either through depleting all their health points or by KO, also known as too much mana. Not enough mana features high stakes, true to life multiplayer wizarding experience with awesome art by someone in a premium qual. And I, I'm not even going to try. Oh wait, Kristoff Maziars. That's Kristoff. I saw the Z and I got scared. In a premium quality package crafted with love and attention to detail. Cool. Through the years, not enough mana has been thoroughly play tested by many groups of wizards. Now this, this is spectacular, and. Um, this makes me feel more comfortable on the do I want it. Seeing this being playtested, seeing this in a setting and people enjoying it. Feedback range from, it's the best game I've ever played to, can I buy your demo copy here and now? Awesome. And that, you know, it's always nice to have reviewers and people we know. But that right there, I feel like that did a great job. That gets me more excited about it. Get in the mood with this official playlist. No. No. I feel like there's, I feel like there's things that are on your Kickstarter page that are slightly more important than your playlist is it maybe it's just me like the how much it costs that'd be great and yes i know that's over here in support but it should be seamlessly interweaved into your stories so don't even tell me in the comments everybody says that they're like it's on the right side I'm like i know i know <laughs> all right in the box so take a look at the rules i hopefully i can click on that as well linen coated box with art by that person plastic insert 165 cards 70 set so we're getting 140 crystals 165 cards a game manual and a plastic insert so, what's the price? Why are you beating me around with the price? Oh, so now we have the Arch Mage Edition. I actually really like that uh, that box. Limited Edition. So, why? Why would you do this? Like, this is the pledge level right here. Why don't you just give me the price? $30, $22, whatever it is. Just hit me with it. And then, oh, here's the Arch Mage Edition. It would be great here. $84. Hit me with the price. Why do people do this? I don't understand it. Make it easier to shop on your Kickstarter page. Plastic insert. Oh, and this I will give them kudos on. I like how they did this. Uh, they have different text here, and then it looks like these are the new things that are coming in. So two leather pouches for health and mana crystals. Six metal potion shot glasses. Oh, yeah, once again, I told you they were showing off that logo over and over and over and over and over again. So I assume that had to be on some swag. Six metal potion shot glasses with mana potions, symbol engraving. So six shot glasses and some pouches. Eh? Okay. Uh, once again, price me. Price me. I say, eh, because I don't know the price. If it was like $40, i say, okay, 40 bucks, yeah. But if it's $70, i say, eh. Uh, this box is 12 by 8 by 7 centimeters in size. Awesome. I do the inches as well, but that's spectacular. I do want to give them a shout out to that. I see so many companies, even deep into our hobby, companies who have made many, many Kickstarters who don't give you an idea of the size of their box. So I love seeing this right here. Uh, both boxes but i would put it in inches because uh as always more than half the people that shop on kickstarter are from the united states of america and yeah so 415 compared to 85 in your hometown uh and then the rest of the world so convert it to inches it's only a nice thing how to play each wizard should have five cards of 10 health points so now hopefully i will get a concrete idea of how to play the game because i didn't quite get it from the well-made video <laughs> you can drink mana potions at any point in the game even outside your turn each mana potions replenish it so each potion you can drink mana potions at any point in the game, even outside your turn. So what is it? So this is the mana potion. You drink it, and you gain mana points. Yeah, I think you actually drink, and then you get tokens. Holy shnikes! That's awesome. There's going to be a lot of people who have a big problem in this game and say, this is absolutely encouraging, blah, 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 binge drinking. And I say to those people, yeah, it does. You're not wrong. But at the same time, as someone who used to live that lifestyle, that sounds awesome. Like, I could totally see me and some of my buddies back in the day, like, really 
putting away a lot because we weren't willing to give up. And it looks like that's going to be the case. And I think that's what that wizard at the end was trying to convey that like, oh, the game looks like it's over. Everything's stacked against me. But then I take a huge swig of this. I got more mana potions and I'm good to go. And I think that's what they were trying to convey. But once again, I didn't feel like it came across the best. It, but that's now that makes, I feel like that does make the video slightly better though. But I still, I didn't know that from the video. In your turns, draw cards up to your hand limit. Then you can play, exchange, and or discard any number of cards. To play a card, put it on the table, pay its cost, and indicate the target. The fireball spell costs one mana point and requires you to discard one additional fire spell from your hand. When a wizard runs out of health points or has too much mana, he's removed from the game. The last wizard field on the battlefield remains. Interesting. All right. Uh, offense. So again, uh, offensive spells, defensive spells, support spells. I just want a price. Events. Cool. 11. Not many. A little bit disappointed that uh, the card count there. The Art of Magic. Kristoff Art for not enough mana. Cool. But hopefully they'll have some expansions and stuff I hear. Wow. Oh my gosh. I 110% now hate that video even more. Because that video did not spot like this. And this... This, because uh, isn't this isn't this the same person who did like that uh, that crazily named cryptozoic game, like the mounting dueling wizards of Wobbadabobadi, whatever the hell it is. Either way, this artwork, the fact that this artwork is not displayed prominently on this Kickstarter page, because once again, let's go back to the main image on this Kickstarter page. This artwork should be displayed. That is absolutely drop dead gorgeous, fantastic, and. I'm not typically someone who, who smooches on artwork, but that is, I want to see every single card in this game when I get done. And that is a true testament to this game and that artwork. Spot like that. Oh my. Uh, yeah, I feel like this isn't, the, I, I feel like this should be way higher than 12th on the popularity chart right here. Like this is a super niche game that is controversial potentially, uh, Excellent artwork, fantastic pedigree. It's from the freaking guy who made Super Hot. I mean, that's that's huge. Uh, the game's art director. Wow, that art. I love that art. Uh, Paul Rosicki, a battle hardened wizard specialized language edition DTP. So we got ourselves a team. I could tell. Uh, see our website for more. Follow Enough Mana on Twitter. Not Enough Mana is being made in cooperation with Super Hot Presents. If you have played Super Hot or Super Hot Presents games, you know what to expect. Uh, nothing but quality. If you haven't, you should. Awesome. Once again, excellent. Uh, so what is this? Super hot present. So what, what? What am I clicking on? Is this just you? Tell. Okay. So this is you. Yep. That's the game. Yep. Cool. But what's super hot presents? What, what am I clicking on? Just your website, maybe. Oh, wonderful indie games. Oh, cool. Oh, so they've done. So they're gonna be doing. Okay. Awesome. They are branching out. Love it. Love it. Our hobby is growing, baby. Uh, oh, this is not a good Kickstarter. Oh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh no. So this right now, I immediately am turned off by this Kickstarter project because it shows that they did not do a lot of research into what the industry standard of being a Kickstarter project is, which is just a sin. This should be $670,000. Let me know in the comments below if you disagree. But with that artwork, but with that pedigree, but with that niche of a game, I think this should be going gangbusters. And it's not. It's 12th. Because of a generic, basic image, not spotlighting the artwork. Ooh, ooh, all right. So let's let's have a little come to Jesus talk here. We don't. We didn't talk at all about the shipping. We didn't talk at all about your pledge levels. We didn't talk at all about anything. There's no gameplay videos. Like, why is there no gameplay videos? Why can't I click on the rule booklet? Why the hell do we have this? I don't need this. I need a laundry list of things that you did not provide and you would have provided had you done any research into what a typical tabletop games kickstarter looks like and i know this sounds harsh but this is a this is, i think there are hundreds of thousands of dollars that are being left on the table right now because look at that look at that look at that that's not the kind of artwork you see in a sixty thousand dollar game that is just okay so do i want it yes i do i'd love to see a gameplay video i'd love to see a very quick concise nobody dressed as a wizard potentially uh, just straight up gameplay video, uh, excuse me, straight up gameplay video and a how to play video. That'd be spectacular because I imagine how to play is really quite simple. That is, uh, I think that's a misstep. So, and, and also mention your pledge levels, mention your shipping. Hopefully they can redeem themselves and the shipping will be in here. I am not, I'm, I'm doubtful. Uh, so this is a print and play version of the game. Awesome. Five bucks, 50 backers. I can see that. 
So twenty-five dollars. So thirty bucks. And once again, this is a sin here. This is not. We are in Kickstarter, and in Kickstarter world, anything below eighty dollars, we say, oh, okay, that's a pretty solid price. Okay, because we're just preconditioned to two fifty, four hundred, seven hundred. Just that. However, Simon wants us to throw. We're going to throw. So you got 30 bucks. You spotlight that at the door. You spotlight. You did from the creator of Super Hot. I spotlight that artwork. I spotlight that $30. Those are great. So we got 108 people getting the base game, which means most people actually want the deluxe version of the game. Despite the fact I wasn't that sold by the deluxe version, but once again, it's only $46. And that's what I said. That's what I said right as soon as I said it. It was, uh, I said it was said like eight times there. Um, $46. $46. I don't even think twice. This is without a doubt the most popular pledge. $712. Oh, wait, there's another one? Why would I want both? Uh, or the friend. Okay, $95. That's odd. And why is it... Why is it... Why is, there only, why is that capped at $95? Like, only 100 of you can give this damn game to your friend. Then we're, we're cutting it off. Like, that seems odd. <laughs> so a three-pack. Three-backers. K... Okay. Retailer pledge. You didn't even mention any of this over here, by the way. One backer. Uh, I wonder why there's only one backer because you made him feel like a complete afterthought. Perhaps I don't know. So, it, like, you didn't even mention it. I don't think. So it's just ugh. Why is this limited to ninety five? Why is this forty six dollar one not spotlighted? Like, there's so many things here that just reek of of, of someone not doing research, and that. That, that's just so disappointing because sometimes we see these Kickstarter companies that come from different parts of they don't they're not from our hobby not from around here and they come in here with these Kickstarter projects and they they kick ass and you say wow you put in time you put in effort you put in research you looked at all these different things and you you got rewarded for it and, and I don't see that here I see a lot of polish but in the wrong places and it's unfortunate because this game looks really cool. Um, this, 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 so, okay, I feel, so can't, how much is, wait, did it have the price? That's the other big thing. Uh, because then, then we got a problem. If you have not mentioned the shipping, okay, you did, you actually put in the price in there. Awesome. Damn, 16 euro shipping? Oh, stop it. Stop it. You stop it. How much is that? That's 30. Yeah. Okay. I get, I get it. <laughs> this is why, this is why everybody from all around the world, I have, I have an interesting thing here. The majority of the people who I've noticed say you focus way too much on the shipping section are from the United States of America. <laughs> like when I get comments about that, it's typically from them. Whereas the majority, like the rest of the world is like, yeah, this is important. And now, like if we start seeing shipping rates like this, you better damn well bet that more Americans are going to care about that because that is a terrible shipping price. That is a deal breaker in my mind uh, for this game, which is a relatively small game. You know, once again, we got 120 cards. What is it? 140 little little tokens that you could easily get off the Game Crafter for next to nothing. Uh, this is not a good price. And it was up until you got to the shipping section. And that shipping section just kills it. $48. So if I want to get your game, I'm spending $48. Now that's less than MSRP, but this is a smaller game. This is not a big box game. Like, this is, this is, this is, well, $48, that's still not terrible. It's still not terrible. That shipping, that shipping price, though, like, ah, that, that is a herder. That's a real herder there. And that, once again, tells me that you did not put in the time and the research on how to ship to different parts of the world and save them money. Go check out Jamie Stegmeyer's blog right now. Now, you have a team. Go check out how Jamie Stegmeyer does it. Steal that. Post that in an update. Tell you, hallelujah, we're going to save you all a bunch of money on shipping. And, and then and then ship, you know, hook me up with a free copy of the game after that. Because this is, that's a, that's a big deal breaker for a lot of people. When they see $16 shipping for this box, no. All right. So I'm dinging some points there for sure. But they do have the shipping section. And once again, I would mention over here in the story, hey, shipping, all the shipping and handling is handled over here on the right side. So no, no needs. Also, the VAT, what's the VAT? I'm assuming, yeah, how does the VAT work? That's important to mention. Maybe it's in the FAQs. We'll see. Doubtful. Hey, it is. You know where else you should be included? 
in the campaign page, in the shipping section, which is non-existent. Yes, that is include the price no matter where you live. See, now that's great. That's a win for you. That makes you look good, and it makes me swallow that 16 pound or 16 euro uh, shipping cost a little bit easier, knowing that you're doing this sort of back-end stuff to try and make the shipping better. Don't bury it in the FAQ. Are there plans for stretch goals? Yeah, don't, they're better, they're, this had better say no. This had better say, dear God, no, we're not going to do stretch goals. Because if it says yes, and you don't tell me stretch goals in your campaign, like, that is, that's terrible. As we didn't want to dilute game design by breaking down the deck or adding more cards by stretch goal, nor do we want to compromise on combo, blah, 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 we decided not to do stretch goals. Okay, good, good. I was going to blow a gasket if there were stretch goals, like, we're going to reveal the stretch goals soon, which I've seen some Kickstarter companies do, and say, no, you put them on the page to get people excited. How much does shipment cost? Well, people are asking here. It's an FAQ because you didn't tell us shipping is completely calculated over here on the right side. Are you, plan- are you uh, going to sell it outside of Kickstarter? We plan to make it available in retail after the campaign is fulfilled and all backers get their games. Okay. Or can I get a specific look at closer cards? And that's right. They did not have a long, sexy scrolling shot of all the components in the game. Once again, probably because you didn't do your research. Are there plans for other languages? We don't have such plans for now. Do physical rewards come with print to play? Yes. Okay, cool. Once again, mention that in those particular pledge levels, but they cannot go and fix that. As soon as anyone backs a pledge level, you can no longer do anything different to that pledge level. But in the future, that's just one of the things you want to mention, because that's a, that's a, that's a sexy little point for somebody. <clears throat> so, I'm going to make a prediction right here and say that these are not good updates. There are four updates, and I'm going to guess that there is minimal engagement on these updates. Seven, one... Zero, zero. Oh, come on. Come on. You have a thousand people here. You have a huge... (sighs) Okay. The point of your update is to get people engaged, is to get people commenting so you can tickle those Kickstarter algorithms so your game can be higher up on the popularity chart. Because right now, not enough mana is not in the top nine, which I believe is how many you have to see before you have to start clicking load more. Like, they are right below that. So you really need this to get bumped up. Why? Oh, no, no, we're not, we're not, we're not streaming NFL games. <laughs> All right, uh, because yeah, this launched, so this launched 10 days ago. And there's just not excitement, there's not buzz, and let's be quite frank here. Which way do you see this going on the popularity chart? Up or down? It's down. Because you're not getting people engaged. One comment in your most... uh, Zero! So this one got seven. And what you always have to do is end with a question, but let's check this out. Arch Chancellor Albert the Pure looked at the numbers on the campaign page, imbibed a huge potion, and muttered something along the lines of, we may take those pickle-ups buffoons down a peg yet. Thank you. Uh, well, have you seen him so happy since he wiped the floor with blah blah blah, blah theme? You clearly aspire to be our mage, so it's only reasonable to give you the tools. We've restocked Archmage Edition again. What, is, what does that mean? Now's your chance, and if you know someone who's missed the previous patch, they certainly will be grateful if you let them know. So, is there... Okay. If you want to not only learn the magic of Ludic Academy, but also flaunt your potion institute... Hey, add-ons! You want to buy a pen? No, I do not. 200 potions, sincerely, yada yada. I'm kind of confused. The badges make no sense to me. It does not fit the theme in general. Did I miss something? <laughs> it's the image that's on the back of the cards. I saw that. But you should I do with it, or is it just merch? Yes. It's just something they're trying to put out there for you to buy that's very, 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 very cheap to mass produce, and they're probably going to sell it to you for like $10. Okay? It is... It's not something you need, and be smart, Kickstarter. You know you don't need it. It's just a way to show off your Institute membership. If you want to know what the symbols mean, though, the inner one is a symbol of blah, blah, blah. I uh, got it. Does the badge come with a physical award, or do we have to buy it? Okay. So once again, these are not people... These are people who have questions about what you're doing, which means that, that it's not necessarily answering the question the best as you can. Um, end with a question, and it seems like such an obvious thing here. Maybe you ask people, hey... What convinced you to back? Was it our pedigree with this? Is it was it was it the drinking aspect? Was it the artwork? Reach out to these people, see what the majority of these people really love about this, and then try to pinpoint and fine tune and focus on that. Because right now this campaign just feels like it's wandering. Uh, and also, also this is a no-brainer. This is a drinking game. You have said, you know, you've been over and over and over again to say, oh, it's not a drinking game. It's technically not a drinking game because we can't say it's a drinking game. But it's clearly a drinking game, which is awesome. I love that. But 
I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, because, so, you have a thousand people here who you know what they like to do. They like to drink. So you need to, you have such an easy, and I challenge you, if you get to this video without being totally pissed at me, I challenge you, put in your next update. What will be your wizard's drink of choice? Or what will be your wizard's name in one update? And then what will be your wizard's of choice's drink in the next update? And bada boom, you have two questions right there. You're tickling the Kickstarter algorithm because these thousand people right here who clearly love your project for one reason or another are still backing it despite despite a lackluster, lackluster, lackluster Kickstarter page are going to be more than happy to respond in here and bump you up higher, which hopefully by then you'll also have changed your main image so it's more appealing so you can catch more eyeballs because I don't think... It's really, I don't think it's doing it. I don't think it's, it doesn't get me excited about the project. The text you have below your project does, but not that. So let's check out the comments. I love the game. Hope you had an option for an extra Arch Mage edition. Okay. That will probably end up being an option near the end of the campaign. Fast, uh, okay. How do I have the pin? So this looks like it's a, a good chunk of newer backers. I am very interested. Thank you, Kickstarter community page. I'm going to make a bold prediction and say we're going to see a decent amount of new backers. 167. Okay, so that is about, what, 15%? I'd say that's probably pretty high for most Kickstarters. I really do think that that's probably pretty high for most Kickstarters, but we can we can even do a little... So I'm, I'm thinking of my grade right now while I do this. So A through F, do I want it? Yeah, I want the game. I mean, it was... It, was, it took me a while to get there, but I want the game. That being said, I was naturally inclined to game because, like the game, because it's such a niche game. Can you do it? Yes, your pedigree is fantastic, despite the fact I feel like you kind of just wandered into this industry and thought it was going to be really easy. I mean, it is really easy. You're raising 60000 but I'm telling you, there is an extra zero there that you're potentially leaving on the table for the type of game you have. So, yes. Can you do it as a yes? Even though I would like to know who you're manufacturing through as well, that'd be interesting or maybe... Okay, but anywho, how much is it? I feel like the price is solid, even though that 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 shipping price is is really high for the United States of America, at least. Oh wait, what was for the rest? I can't really go through and look at the rest because yeah, then I would have to go through single single one. So yeah, so this one, yeah, look at this project. So that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> like that is a very good percentage of new backers. With <laughs> this, this is just another random game. The not tie. I think it's the number three game. Thirteen sixty six to two, um, which is also. Why with this, if you're bringing in new people, I might suggest adding one of those, those, those areas that I normally just scoff at, but now I believe, thanks to the community section, are important. How do I back? What are add-ons? How does this work? A little tiny section in there would be very useful. And once again, those are the kind of things that you would see in other Kickstarter projects if you were looking at the other Kickstarter projects, um, which just that drives me nuts. So every all the check marks are checked, but it's like, right now I feel like I'm going to give this a C. C plus. I can't I can't go higher than a C plus. It's got everything I need. The do I want it, the can you do it, but the how much is it? But but just but just everything else is just so weirdly done. But then again, that is not enough, man. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this, yeah, just leave comments because that's how you tickle my YouTube algorithm. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye bye. Boop. Wait. Oh my gosh. What 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 was I said why does it say going live? I'm live right now, aren't I? Everyone can see me, right? <gasps> oh, have I not been recording? Have I not been recording this entire time? I think I've been recording, right? This, I had to have been recording. Can anybody let me know in the chat? Am I am I on right now? What is going on? I'm freaking out. It says go live. I think I think I'm done. <laughs> I like how I got another viewer. Am I live right now? I just did. Okay. okay, let's try this. I do apologize if this is live and this is just straight up dead air. I don't know what's going on. I think YouTube is having an issue. Oh, no. Ugh. Uh, did, did, I, did I do a live stream? Yeah, okay, it worked. It worked. I'm done, right? We're done? Did I go? Was that... I think it's over? Maybe? I feel like I should sing or something. Uh, I don't think I did. Did I go live? What is going on? I don't know. Did that go live? 
This this is the behind the scenes of YouTube that you don't typically get to see. So this should be an episode of Behind the Corner. I don't know. I'm going to go live, and I guess I'm going to tell these five. Uh, I thought I was live. Now it's saying going live again. Okay, so I'm not sure if I've been live for the last 30 minutes. YouTube on my end is being all weird and all wonky. I don't think I was live. I actually just did this Kickstarter critique. Um, so I'm going to post it. Please let me know in the comments. Was I live this whole time? Uh, but either way, I did record it. It's being recorded right here, which is good. So it will go up either that or it's already up. I don't know. Goodbye. If I've been live for the last 30 minutes, YouTube on my end is being all weird and all wonky. I don't think I was live. I actually just did this Kickstarter critique. Um, so I'm going to post it. Please let me know in the comments. Was I live this whole time? Uh, but either way, I did record it. It's being recorded right here, which is good. So it will go up either that or it's already up. I don't know. Goodbye. Oh no, I need to stop this too. Yep, this is 